From page to screen, these flicks certainly know how to tickle our funny bones. Forgot to drop the mic. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest comic book movies. With these powers, I could be... A superhero! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at films that are inspired or based around comic books and judging them on how hard they made us laugh. As such, be on the lookout for a few spoilers down the line. Am I too late to try out? What time is it? I don't have a watch on. Yeah, sorry. Number 10, Ant-Man. Paul Rudd undoubtedly knows his stuff when it comes to comedy, but who'd have thought he would be able to apply that to a superhero role? As the MCU's smallest Avenger, former thief Scott Lang not only manages to take down the bad guys, save his daughter, and earn his stripes, but also nail the comedic beats. I'm gonna make some tea. Be it a crazy training montage, taking repeated punches to the face, and even pulling one over on Falcon, Ant-Man proves that even the little guy can get a big laugh. Also, any scene with Michael Pena is guaranteed to have you in stitches. Okay, so I'm at this art museum with my cousin Ignacio, right? And there was this like abstract expressionism exhibit. But you know me, I'm more like a neo cubist kind of guy, right? But there was this one Rothko that was sublime, bro. Oh my God. Luis. Number nine, the Lego Batman movie. It's no secret, the Dark Knight has gotten progressively, well, darker over the years. Granted, that's how most of us like him. But as this movie clearly demonstrates, it's very possible to use Batman effectively in a comedic manner. Taking the rather self-obsessed and exaggerated Batman from the Lego movie and giving him his own flick, I'm here to see your butt. We not only get stellar brick-by-brick -brick action, but a hilarious love letter to both the awesomeness and the ridiculousness of the Cape Crusader. You like missiles, Batman? Because I think they're going to like you. It certainly managed to capture the spirit of the character more than Batman v Superman. Go figure. Hey guys, need a hand? With what? Parking? Number eight. Iron Man. It's hard to believe we ever lived in a world without the splendor that is Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark. Not only did we get a layered character dealing with a lot, and we mean a lot, of issues. I'm just not the, the hero type, clearly. But also one who effortlessly made us laugh our asses off. From his dry wit, spot on put downs, and of course all those failed test runs when developing the Iron Man suit's flight tech. <laughs> we couldn't help but wonder where Tony Stark ended and RDJ began, and love every second. While he may have changed his weapon-dealing ways in later MCU outings, we're glad he kept his sense of humor. Need we mention his interactions with the fire extinguisher robot? If you douse me again and I'm not on fire, I'm donating you to City College. Number seven, Super. Shut up, crime. How am I supposed to tell crime to shut up if I have to shut up? Before giving us his signature space-facing Marvel debut in Guardians of the Galaxy, director James Gunn gave us the brutally real comedy of a down-on-his-luck guy taking up the mantle of a costumed hero and getting his ass kicked as a result. With a cute yet sociopathic sidekick by his side, the Crimson Bolt roams the streets dealing out justice by beating criminals' heads in with a pipe wrench. It's bloody, unapologetic, and quite possibly the best example of how well black comedy can work in a superhero comedy. That's not cool. No, it is not. And it is illegal. Number six, The Mask. Spoken! Combine the untamed eccentricity of Jim Carrey with the powers of a green-faced demigod, and what do you get? A whirlwind of zaniness and cartoon violence that we just can't get enough of. There are too many great moments to count, but if we had to give an example of a scene that truly shows the film's essence, it would be when the mask crashes the Coco Bongo. He turns the place into a jazz club, dances the shoes off Cameron Diaz, takes out the bad guy, and delivers an Oscar-worthy death scene all in one night. Why? Because he's gotta. Hold me closer in. <laughs> it's getting dark. Number five, Kingsman, The Secret Service. To those who thought the days of old school spy films were history, we eagerly direct you to the suave antics of Eggsy and the Kingsman. Taking the gadgets, style, and campiness one might find in the classic James Bond movies, the film cleverly mingles it with modern day themes that make it both a satire and a loving homage to the spy movies of old. Are you mental, cuz? The suits are sharp. The action scenes are gorgeous, and there's even a subplot involving our hero being partially motivated to save the world because he'll get to have sex with a Swedish princess. Classy. If you save the world, we can do it in the asshole. I'll be right back. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy. 
There was some speculation about how the Cosmos Greatest Misfits were going to fit into the MCU. However, much to our jubilation, Star-Lord, Gamora, and the rest not only gave us a full-on galactic action fest, but also gave us a damn fun ride. This mostly stems from the banter between the five, whether it's Drax's inability to grasp metaphors, Rocket's trigger finger, the endless references to Kevin Bacon, or the use of classic 70s and 80s music, the film will keep bringing the laughs beat for beat. <laughs> what else is there to say other than, I am Groot. Number three, Kick-Ass. You don't need powers to be a hero. How come nobody's ever tried to be a superhero? You just need to be willing to get your ass kicked in return. Dave Lazuski, who dreams of living out his comic book fantasies, getting the girl and helping the Everman, finds himself in way over his head after being caught between a ruthless drug kingpin and two badass, slightly homicidal vigilantes, Hit Girl and Big Daddy. With stylized fight scenes saturated with violently entertaining death sequences, as well as seeing Nicolas Cage channel his inner Adam West, you can't help but lap up its balls-to-the-wall brand of heroics. I'm in way over my head. It's a shame. You have potential. Your call, but you know we're around if you need us. Number two, Deadpool. The merc with a mouth needs no introduction beyond the bodies he buries and the fourth walls he breaks. I think we can all agree that shit just went sideways in the most colossal way. The resident jokester of the Marvel Universe. We were all praying that Wade Wilson would get the film adaptation he deserved. Luckily for us, our fears were put to rest in the opening credits. With an exceedingly high body count, all the sex jokes you could ever want, plenty of shots at superhero films in general, and especially Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Deadpool delivers with every shot. Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, please don't correct me. It sickens me. Be ready. He could be anywhere. Please, please, uh, a moment to reflect. Uh, ah. Number one, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. We've all seen plenty of flicks about the one scrawny kid earning the affection of a beautiful girl. Yeah, wow. But rarely do we get one visually represented like a video game weaved together with comic book tropes. Am I dreaming? By all accounts, this movie shouldn't have worked. And yet, Scott Pilgrim's mission to win the heart of Ramona Flowers and defeat her seven evil exes shows itself to be a unique kind of beast that stands out on its own. Hey, I'm talking to you, Scott Pilgrim. And of course, it's damn hilarious. With each of the exes acting as literal boss fights, we certainly don't envy Scott's situation. That being said, we can't get enough of it. Good, good. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.